Hi, welcome to today's devotional. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of God. In verse 26, we read, He also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seeds on the ground. Day and night, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel within the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts a sickle to it, because the harvest has come. I think some really amazing truths in this really short parable that Jesus says, all about what the kingdom of God is like. The kingdom of God is powerful and keeps moving forward all the time. I think sometimes we feel a lot of pressure to produce or to make everything happen. The interesting thing in this passage we see is that God really does all of the harvest. There's this really interesting sense that day or night, whether the guy gets up or whether he sleeps, it just happens. He has no idea how, but the ground produces this amazing harvest with the shoots coming up and then the heads coming up and then all the kernels within them. And this is just how this works. The kingdom of God just smoothly moves forward, even when we don't see it, even when we don't understand. And if you've ever been a part of planting something, you recognize this amazing space that's agonizing, where for a while it looks like absolutely nothing is happening. And then you start to see the plant shoot up through the dirt, and it begins to grow and thrive and produce the particular thing you wanted to see take place. This is an amazing part of this journey that we have with Jesus. That sometimes there are moments where it seems like nothing is happening, but we can really trust in the presence of God. We can trust that he is moving powerfully, even when we don't understand how things go, even when we're not sure that anything in particular is happening, even when we feel like we are not able to always put in the effort that we wish or would hope for. God does amazing things, because it doesn't solely depend on our effort. This is about the movement of the kingdom of God going for us. This is about God's harvest, the powerful movement that he's doing in us and in the world all around us. But the interesting thing also is that we have a particular role to play. We see in this story at the beginning, the man scatters the seeds on the ground, and then when it's ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. And God dignifies us in this particular way. God calls us to join actively and personally and passionately with him in the work that he's doing. This particular parts of his work on the, on the earth that he entrusts to us. And this is an amazing thought, a humbling thought, and sometimes a frightening thought. There's some particular moments that God gives to us. There's those moments in life where God just challenges us or calls us to share the truth with someone who otherwise wouldn't have known about Jesus and scatter the seeds of the truth of who he is in that way. Or other spaces where he calls us to share a bit of our own journey or to bless someone or care for them or affirm them. And sometimes it seems like such a small and insignificant thing. It seems like we're just sort of tossing some seed on the ground and seeing what's going to come out of these things. And sometimes our role seems very small. But God entrusts these parts to us that are significant and really meaningful. And then again, in those cr crucial moments, in those significant spaces when things are ready, he draws us back into people's lives again. And again, gives us an opportunity to encourage them or to share with them or to challenge them and to see the fruit of all the things that he's been doing within us as well. God moves in amazing and powerful ways. This is his harvest. This is his work from beginning to end. And we can be deeply at peace because we know that no matter what we see or don't see happening all around us, the kingdom of God continues to move forward with power and strength, with or without our own effort. But God also calls us to join faithfully with him in all the things that he's doing. So let's stay open and available to him to see what are those moments, what are those critical spaces in the lives of people around us where he wants to use us to see the kingdom of God move forward in powerful and amazing ways. Even when our role seems insignificant, God is doing amazing things. May he bless and guide you today. May you live in the fullness of his peace and confident of his movement all around you. And may you live open and available to all that he wants to continue to do in and through you. God bless you.